Welcome all. In this series, we are talking about the scope of piping engineers or engineering. In previous sections, we talked about the types and roles of piping engineers. In this section, we are going to talk about the career option. We'll look at the challenges and opportunities for piping engineers. So let us start with this topic. We have already covered the types of piping, piping engineers. We talked about layout engineer, material engineer, stress engineer, field construction engineer and piping project engineers. Now we are going to talk about the second section that is piping engineering as a career. Okay, so let us directly go to this section. So if you see here, all these sections we have already covered. Now let us talk about piping engineering as a career. Right. Now you know the this technology that is piping technology is an emerging engineering science. But it has been there for so many years. Okay. Piping plays a really critical role in process industry. Okay. There are few skills which are required by piping engineers. Those are specially related to if you see the observation skills, analytical skills, project management skills, written and verbal communication skills and drafting skills. These five basic skills should be there within any good piping engineer. Okay. Most of the time mechanical and chemical engineers opt for piping engineering profession. Okay. Now we already talked about various type of piping engineers in previous sections. In this section, let us talk about what are the various challenges are there for piping professions. First of all, the major uh, challenge was drop in crude price, right? We know from since last many years, the crude oil was at very low price, especially from 2014 onwards, right? And that was majorly because of advancement of electrical vehicles. The oil market suffered a huge loss, which caused in reduction of new piping projects, right? When there was no demand, there was uh, demand for something else. There were, there was a reduction in piping projects. Hence, there was a drop in requirement of piping engineers. This was the major challenge, right? Because of crude price drop because of demand of electrical vehicle. So there was a global shift from piping or you can say the from oil and gas sector towards electrical vehicles. So this was one of the biggest challenge. It is still there and this is a good big challenge. Now second challenge is increase in competition, right? In previous years, we have already seen there are so many institutes who are giving piping engineering training around the world, right? Because it was a, a profession which was really in demand and we were looking at uh, this uh, profession that it will grow in future. So there were a lot of piping engineers. Every day these were uh, coming out from these piping institutes globally. So there was directly, indirectly, there was an impact on piping engineers demand salary especially. So this was again one of the challenges. Then third one is again when there was a lot of demand in previous years, right before uh, this started happening, there were a surge of uh, freelancers. There were so many experienced piping engineering people who started their own ventures and they started taking uh, jobs from big companies, also big companies uh, who were established one they also prefer to offload uh, jobs to these small companies, especially 3D related activities. And there were a lot of other activities which were offloaded to these. So the trend of outsourcing is still increasing, which has caused a dip in salaries of piping professionals. So these three drop in crude prices, increase in competition and a surge in freelancing. This has become a, a major challenge for piping professionals. This is a truth, but at the same time, now this was a negative side. Now let us look at the opportunities. 
what are opportunities available in process industry as a piping engineer specifically first of all if you see the automation and development in piping industry in order to construct a piping system it is necessary to systematically analyze various construction methods right this is a basic requirement if there is a process plan we have to go through this right many standard practices for piping systems have emerged and today piping systems are recognized as one of the most important engineering discipline right earlier many people used to do the design on uh, on a board on a white paper then autocad came then 3d softwares came now a lot of automation is happening in 3d modeling itself so as a trained piping engineer to design the piping system in demand right it is in demand it will be in demand for all engineering and construction firms right although we understood that there is a drop in demand there is a competition there are there are few uh, freelancers but still this demand will continue right because the system is changing the automation will come into picture so th th these things will automatically increase the demand of piping engineers then scope of piping engineering if you look at uh, uh, the piping engineers those are involved into various sectors if you see the petrochemical oil and gas refinery chemical power plants water pharmaceutical sectors these sectors are not going anywhere okay maybe there is a hit in few sectors but these sectors are not going anywhere pharmaceutical is not going anywhere power plants are not going anywhere chemical refinery petrochemicals they are going to stay for a longer period all these sectors will call for piping engineers because piping systems are something which is common for all these sectors so they will remain in demand the fundamentals of piping engineering will be there for all these sectors so let us go a little bit more deeper into it now let us see let us look at one of the sectors that is petrochemical okay if you go a little bit deep into the statistics okay petrochemical industry is an industry branch that produces organic intermediate products okay this is a very uh, typical statement these produces organic intermediate products such as refinery products natural gas plastics rubber fiber raw material just look around uh, uh, when wherever you are sitting just look around how many things are there which are made of plastic rubber fibers okay from where these are coming these are coming from petrochemical industry okay so if you look at the stats petrochemical feed stock accounts for 12 percent of oil demand only so whatever oil is there out of that oil production 12 percent is going into the petrochemical industry as a feed stock as a feed product which means today roughly 88 percent of every barrel of oil is used to make petrol diesel or jet fuels right a share that is expected to increase by increasing demand of plastic fertilizers and other products at the rate of 6.2 annually so that means we are talking about this 12 percent of the barrel of oil which is currently used for currently used as petrochemical feedstock it is increasing 6 point at the rate of 6.2 annually okay so just look around uh, yourself just look at the products which are available and do you think this these products uh, we have any for these product we have any alternative okay so let's go a little bit more deeper if you look at this picture this picture this picture we have taken from us department of energy oil and gas and if you see the basics behind it oil and gas sector okay butane naphtha condensate natural gas propane methane we are getting out of it right then basic chemical propylene ethylene butadiene ammonia butadiene okay these are the basic chemicals then look at the chemical intermediates derivatives right ethyl glycol okay there are so many intermediates then another stage final products industrial chemicals paints 
synthetic rubber, explosives, resins, foams, dyes, adhesives, plastics, okay, fabrics, soaps, detergents. So these are the final products. Now let us look at the end uses. Clothing, okay, we are getting it from here itself. Packaging, appliances, vehicle, machineries, electronics, office and industrial equipment, pharmaceuticals, consumer products, building materials, furniture, healthcare, air and space. These all are coming from petrochemical products. Okay, where we are talking that 12 percent of the oil demand is going into it which is increasing at 6.2 annually so this is huge right you you will see this increase in this demand as an opportunity for piping engineering sector we don't have any alternative for these applications for these end uses okay so so there are challenges no doubt but there are opportunities also so this sector is not going uh, anywhere piping engineering is not going anywhere even what will happen instead of petrol diesel we will be having alternate fuel for example now we are talking about hydrogen fuel uh, green ammonia green hydrogen these will be alternative right alternative means these plants configuration may change but the fundamentals will remain same piping engineering fundamentals will remain same if you look at the shift from oil and gas towards green hydrogen green ammonia the fundamentals will remain same which were there in oil and gas so this is an opportunity right the pipes, this is the scope of piping engineering so there are threats no doubt there is a drop in crude price which is which has already started increasing uh, because of war at in various uh, parts of the world there is increase in competition which will always be there it is not going to go anywhere there is a surge of freelancers okay lot of companies are moving towards uh, outsourcing activities right but the quality they are getting out of it uh, i don't know i'm not sure but in future this trend may reverse okay anyways these are the uh, challenges and opportunities uh, for process industry as a piping engineers